Real Madrid's attempts to revamp their squad and turn the corner after a season when they have at times been closer to the relegation places than the top of the table will begin in earnest this summer. But with Neymar already discarded as an impossibility for this year and with Mauricio Pochettino, favorite choice to replace Zinedine Zidane on the bench, also keen to stay where he is for another year. It might be a revolution that has to take place over two years. Sports Mail looks at their options. It's been four years since Real Madrid last went crazy in the transfer market. They watched the 2014 World Cup and cherry-picked three of the best players from the tournament. Bringing in James Rodriguez, Kaylor Navas and Tony Cruz, the first scored the goal of the tournament. The second was the World Cup's most impressive keeper and the third played more successful passes than anyone. Florentino Perez is likely to follow the same blueprint this year but not everything can wait until August. If Madrid crash out of the Champions League in Paris then players will need to be lined up at the main gate of the Bernabeu to file in as soon as the season ends. Madrid are closing in on targets. Eden Hazard is likely to be the marquee name in the list of new recruits. He has come close to moving to Madrid in the past and his reluctance to sign a new deal at Chelsea makes the deal more likely. As he has made quite clear speaking to Belgian media this week, Thibaut Courtois wants to follow him. Relations are good between Real Madrid and Chelsea and there is likely to be major rebuilding in West London too. For many Madrid supporters it is the new striker who will be the jewel in the crown. Early reticence among fans over Harry Kane has subsided now that he has become the man who scored more goals than Messi last season. But Kane is keen to see Spurs into their new home. Madrid have been advised of this reluctance to leave London right now and so Plan B is already being put in place. Robert Lewandowski has long been a favorite of Perez, but at 29 he might not thrill the public and getting players out of Bayern when they are under contract is always tough. So attention could turn to Mauro Icardim who has a £100 million buyout clause meaning Inter Milan will have no choice but to let him go. Buying Icardi will be a lot easier than prizing Kane from Tottenham. He will come at half the price. Madrid president Perez wants Neymar. He was asked after the last Ballon d'Or ceremony. Neymar is not going to win a Ballon door until he's at Madrid is he? Perez responded by saying playing for Madrid would make it easier for him to win one. Because this is a club that gives a great player what he needs. There is a section of Madrid supporters who believe Neymar's flamboyant personality make him unsuitable for their club. Others are willing to forget about the partying with Lewis Hamilton and the president of Brazil and would welcome him with open arms. Either way PSG have no intention of letting him leave in the summer after just one season. They want something in return for all the energy and money spent prizing him away from Barcelona last summer. If Real Madrid want Neymar they are going to have to wait for at least another year. That potentially leaves money in the kitty that the club will spend after the World Cup on whoever has lit up the tournament. If it's Dele Alli that Perez sees scoring a James Rodriguez-style volley from the edge of the area then he will push to sign Tottenham's midfielder. There is likely to be more open doors both from Spurs and from the player if he does. There is a sense that bringing in the England midfielder will be easier than getting the England centre forward. But the jury will not pass verdict until the World Cup. If Liverpool winger Mohamed Salah is one of the sensations in Russia then Real Madrid will turn their attention to him. Perez will leave one in the chamber to wow the Bernabeu. The worse Madrid's season turns out the bigger wow factor he will need. How things finish up this campaign will also dictate who takes charge of the team next season. If things end badly for Zidane he will be replaced but there is a desire to keep him in place for another season because Madrid bosses believe that in 2019 having seen Spurs into their new stadium Mauricio Pochettino will be easier to land. Zidane can do the dirty work of managing the team as Ronaldo goes into what will be his final season at the club and Pochettino can come in fresh a year later. Madrid will also bring in central defensive cover and Real Sociedad's talented fullback Alvaro Adriozola. But they can't afford to forget about young talent bought over the last three years already at the club. And Marco Asensio must be given a stage on which he can perform. 
that young talent would thrive more under Pochettino but if Zidane still has credit in the bank it could be a change that is put on hold for the spending spree MK2 in 2019.